have you applied for GST registration but your application status is showing as pending for clarification? So what needs to be done next? By the end of this video, you will know how to tackle the situation and reply to the pending for clarification status to get your GST registration. Hi everyone, I am Ayushi from Clear. It is India's largest tax and financial services platform. Clear serves more than 4 lakh growing businesses. Subscribe to our channel to know more about GST filings and updates. When you apply for GST registration on the GST portal, you will receive an application reference number that is ARN. The GST department will process the GST registration application. However, you can check the GST registration status online on the GST portal. If the status is showing as pending for clarification on the GST portal, it means that the GST officer requires additional information and documents. In such a case, you will receive a notice in your email to submit a reply to the clarification and upload additional documents for processing the GST registration application. Let's see how to submit a reply when your GST registration application status is pending for clarification. First. Go to the GST portal, click on the services tab, click on the registration option and click on the new registration option. On the next page, select the temporary reference number that is TRN option, enter TRN, enter the captcha and click on the proceed button. You will receive an OTP on your registered email address or mobile number. Enter the OTP and click on the proceed button. Please note OTP will be valid only for 10 minutes. The track application status page will open. Click on the pending for clarification option under the status heading and download the PDF of the notice given by the GST officials seeking the required clarification and information from you. After viewing the PDF of the notice, go back to the GST portal, click on the services option, click on the registration option and then click on the application for filing clarifications option. On the next page, enter the ARN number or the reference number of the notice and click on the search button. It will show the application for filing clarification page. Over here, under the modification in the registration application file, you need to select either yes or no. Select yes if there are any changes to be made in the GST registration application file by you. If there are no changes and you just have to answer to the query of the GST officials, then select no for the modification in the registration application file section. If you have to modify or change any field in the GST registration application and have clicked yes for the modification in the registration application file section, the original application will be available in an editable mode for all those fields for which notice has been issued. Edit the details, upload the additional documents wherever required and click on the save and continue button. Click on the verification option, answer to the query response and upload the supporting documents. Tick the verification, enter the name of the authorized signatory, place, designation or status, date and click on either the submit with DSC or submit with EVC option. When there are no changes in the GST registration application and you just have to answer the query of the GST officials, select no for the modification in the registration application file section. Enter the query response and upload the supporting documents. Tick the verification. Enter the name of the authorized signatory, place, designation or status, date and click on either the submit with DSC or submit with EVC option. In the case of submit with DSC, you need to select the DSC and click on the sign option. In case of submit with EVC, you need to enter the OTP received on your registered email address and mobile number and click on the validate OTP button. After submission of the reply, a success message will appear on the screen. The intimation of submission of the form is also sent via SMS on your registered mobile number and an email will also be sent to the authorized signatory. Did the demo for submitting a reply to pending for clarification status make sense? If it is, write clear in the comments below. If you have any doubts, please ask them in the comments below. So folks, that's it for today. If you want to know how to check your GST registration status after applying for GST registration, please click on the link provided in the description box below. And if you'd like to file error-free GST returns and claim 100% tax credit, try Clear GST. Click on the link provided in the description box to request a demo. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.